At New King, we talk about wanting to help as many people as possible find and follow Jesus. This is what we're talking about. This is it. That's, that's us putting this into our own language. We want to help as many people as possible in as many different places as possible find Jesus. To find him, that's to, to see him, to believe in him, to become his disciple. That's how a person becomes a disciple. Every person who hears the gospel, the good news about Jesus Christ, that he's the son of God, that he's come into the world, that he died in our place on a cross for our sins in order to reconcile us back to God, that he was buried and on the third day he rose from the grave. Every person who believes that, who embraces that, and who turns from their sin to him, to follow him, it's called repentance, becomes a disciple. Something supernatural takes place inside of us. We go from death to life. Our eyes get open. We see everything differently. We see the world differently. We see Jesus differently. It's the entry point into a new and supernatural life with God. And so that's why we say this is the entry point. It's once a person has found Jesus, we want to help them follow Jesus, continue in this new and supernatural life. Which brings us to the next thing that Jesus said, baptizing them. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This is the very first thing that we're commanded to do as brand new followers of Jesus is get baptized. It is a response. It's an obedience to him. And I want to look at what, what it's all about, what it's for. Whenever we read through the book of Acts, which is kind of the follow-up to the Gospels. And it's, what, what did this look like as these disciples went to carry out this mission? And they're going around and they're sharing the Gospel with people. What happened is people believed, and the very next thing they did was they got baptized. They got baptized. Baptism is a symbolic union with Jesus because when you believe and he puts his life in you, you actually become united with his life, infused with his life. <laughs> and so baptism is showing that. We, we take a person into water, we, we submerge them into water, they come up. The word baptism, it, it's baptizo in the Greek. And it literally means to submerge or to cleanse with water. They, they go under the water, and we don't leave them there. Don't worry. We pick them right back up. And it symbolizes that Christ, he died, and he was buried, and then he rose again. And that we, as we are united with him, our old life is dead, buried, and gone. And we're raised to a brand new life. A brand new, clean slate with Jesus. It's a public thing. It's a public identification with Jesus. Like a wedding. You, you want witnesses present because you're making a covenant. You want others to celebrate it with you. Baptism is a holy celebration <laughs> with people to see. And, and people say, I would do it if I wasn't so nervous, but that's kind of the point. It's a step of obedience to say, I don't care if I'm nervous, I don't care if I'm shy in front of people. I'm identifying myself publicly with Jesus, and that's the way I'm going to do it from here on out. That's the way we're called to live. We're not, we're not to be ashamed of Jesus publicly. In fact, the Bible says if we shrink back like that in shame, then when he returns, he's going to reject us. It's evidence that we didn't really know him. And so, it only makes sense that the very first act, the very first step that Jesus wants a follower of his to take is a public identification with him. It sets the tone for the rest 
of our lives.